Hallelujah. 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 Jehovah Jesus Christ Michael Mimo. Mimo. Olorun o tito ati Olorun o dodo. Kabiesi. Ni ogun jo oru awa siwaju re fun agbara ati ori ofe re lati di ominira Oluwa run wa lowo. Ami Jesus. Gbogbo oro re pata bi o tin jade. Je ko ma gbe emi wa ta kan wo yan duro. Jesus Christ. Ki abo Oluwa ko daju. Ami. Jesus Oluwa wa. Ami. Ami. Ami loruko Jesus. Ogun ni fun Jesus lo ke orun. Hallelujah. Moni ogo ni fun Jesus lo ke orun. Hallelujah. Moni ogo ni fun Jesus Christ lo ke orun. Hallelujah. The dangerous sleep. Oru ti o lewu. Whether we like it or not. Bo ya fe ta ba ko. And whether we believe it or we don't believe it. What has been declared against us. And every believer is involved. One way or the other. I want you to understand something today. What I want you to understand is that Satan ate you. He ate me. 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 He ate Christ followers. He ate me. He ate me. He ate me. He ate And he's actively trying to destroy us. So this is not a time for you to relax. Oh God, it's not a time for you to be sleeping anyhow. This is a time to practice aggressive warfare. Aggressive praying. Aggressive reading of the word of God. Aggressive holiness. So that you'll be able to key into the victory that the Lord Jesus Christ has gained, has gained for us. 2020 years ago. Again, Satan ate you. He ate me. He ate every believer. And is working day and night to destroy us. He is using technology. Olo, I want to see human power. Olo, oh, everything to destroy us. Olo, that is power. They will refuse. You must. You see, you must refuse to be destroyed. Oh, they go to call. That is making a power. How do you do that? Through aggressive warfare. Through aggressive praying. Through, through aggressive reading of the word of God. Through aggressive holiness. So that you can get the victory that has been won for you by Jesus Christ. That is. and it's very important for you to be attentive and to pray to the aggression many many years ago a young man went to a church it was a baptist church in one of our local villages he got into the church he did not enter the church he was at the entrance of the church he sat there and they were doing their program they were doing wedding inside the church so he had never been to that church he didn't know anything about the church but he just sat down at the entrance of the church and they were doing their wedding there yeah. When they finished, he went home. But at night, he had slept. And somebody tapped his feet. And that person was a short creature. 
And he said to him, You, 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 why did you go to that church? Why? Who told you to go? I don't know. Be careful. Sorry. If you step into the, any other church again, we say Lossi Joki John will make your glory to sink. How I take your glory to warm me. And that creature disappeared. And he didn't take it serious. He was looking at that. Who is that person? Who is that person? Just forget about it. After about three months, someone they have something to do in another church from their office. He went. In another church, please. He followed him. When he came back again, sleeping in the night. One young creator again came to him. And that was what he could remember. He remembered that young, that creator came. And that was all. The next thing that happened that was that he became mad. He was rushed to hospital from hospital to one church. And it was in the church that he got deliverance that we met him. He was telling us what he saw last. But what happened? There is a place known as the dark place of the heart. That place of the heart. That is the place they used to do whatever they want to do with people's destiny. That is where they practice with they plan wickedness. They operate wickedness. They project wickedness. They program wickedness. If you read Job chapter 4, verses 12, 13, and 14, it says, Now a thing was secretly brought to me and my ear received a little thereof verse 13 in thoughts from the vision of the night when deep sleep falleth on me verse 14 fear came upon me and trembling which made all my bones to shake in Genesis I feel we for me it's missing what I'm trying to say is this. A lot of evil things happen into one's life in the dream. 99% of evil things happening to you, your children, your husband, your wife, your family came in the night. This book now is saying something about Job experiencing a ghost. He was experiencing a ghost, a ghost or a spirit at night. Job thought it He was sleeping in his dream. And that is why, as a Christian, you don't just sleep. You don't just sleep. Oh, God. Oh, God. While sleeping, you must be praying while sleeping. You must learn to pray while you are sleeping. You must learn to be reading the scripture while you are sleeping. Don't just sleep into the essence that Satan will turn your glory, turn your destiny before the day prays. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 25. 
as a guest. Jesus was speaking there. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and saw the wind among the wind. And went away. When man slept, not when he wake up. The enemy chose the hour of darkness. The hour of sleep. And he came to do his family. He came to do his plantation and he went away. And that's how it goes from family to family today. From house to house today. From life to life today. And that's why you must not toy with your midnight. Don't toy with your midnight. Be aware. And pray. Read your Bible. Study your scripture. For like two, three hours of a night before you start sleeping. But if you continue sleeping without prayer, very dangerous. It is that time the enemy saw the world. It is the complete evil at night that manifests in your life, in your shop, over your work, and over your business. So talk about it. If you don't want to expect calamity by the day, fight that battle at midnight. Don't be afraid. problem raised against you in your working place overcome you. Fight that battle in the midnight. There is an hour known as the hour of darkness. Even there is a power known as the power of darkness. Jesus said it. Jesus Christ said, "He said, so this is your hour. Only work at fine." can do whatever you want to do but my time is coming now, let's read Ephesians chapter 5 verse number 11 Ephesians chapter 5 verse number 11 has nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness but rather Yes. Has nothing to do with the power of the night. Has nothing to do with the power of darkness. Has nothing to do in agreement with the hour of darkness. Expose them. Reprove them. That's what Bible says. But you must stand here. There are many wicked powers that operate in the night. No wonder when the psalmist was praying in Psalm 13. He, he, he made mention of some things. Oh God. In Psalm number 9, 13. Psalm number 13. He will read that video. He said, How long, Lord? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Verse 2. How long must I wrestle with my thoughts? And day after day, I have sorrow in my heart. How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes. Or I will sleep in death. Verse 4. And my enemy will say, and my foes will rejoice when I fail. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. You want to be a pet on Lua Lai Lai? You want to be a Puro Lara Mi? A Mio Mag Bimo, Neo Comic Bay? See me, Bam, Bini, Ibinujani or Comino Jojuma? Or Tami Yoti, where I got sorry, me better. Ro, Yoti, go with me. Oh, do all around me. More to me, come on. Here we come about so we could. Nicky, I want to come about we pay. A Miss Shagure. I want to show me. Light 
lifting my eyes. See oju mi ko mole. What is the meaning? Kini it means don't allow allow me to go into slumber. Eh ida si pe ma je ki lo sinu ogbe. Don't let me sleep the kind of sleep that the evil people will come and will destroy my destiny. Ma je ki suru oru to je pa won ni bi ma wa wa ba eyan mo mi je. Mo badura fun e. I pray for you. Oh ni sorun esin o. Ah mi loruko Jesus. Opolopo yan ti sorun esin. A lot of people are sleep the sleep of shame. A lot of people are the take their children away from them. A lot of people are going to take them and destroy their marriage. A lot of people are going to take their certificate was collected and destroyed the world. A lot of people are going to take their children away from them. A lot of people are going to take their children away from them. Some people slept and they wake up their mouth torn. Some people slept they wake up and they see no more. Pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. Oh, ni sonwe si lori kwa Jesu. Ni lori kwa Jesu Christi. Abolu adaju lori. Ni lori kwa Jesu. Adaju lori yomwe. Ani. Adaju lori yomwe. Ani. Adaju lori yaya. Ani. Adaju lori yaya. Ani. Mwanyi ode di pori ye. Ani. Don't let my enemy say I have failed the Christi. Ani. of slumber sleep folding of arms that is why because that time you are slumbering you are sleeping you are folding arms that is the time the enemy used to operate and they will start mocking one in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I'm imploring you now. Turn this hour to prayer hour. Sorry, bed the revival stage. Turn your bed to a revival stage. So can lo i yara e the revival ground. Your living room and your bedroom to a revival ground. Film ten fi bo bo ru e oti poju. If you watch through the night, it's too much. Hey, eti so i yara i palo i di afi oba fire. You have turned your room and your sitting room to the fire. By it a ti so fi always. They are the magician to fi always. Very dangerous for believers that want to get to the top. Hello, me to so tell him, my dear. Some people they hang television in their bed. Some people they hang television in their bed. Why they sleep in the washroom? If I want to smoke, film me at my play. Stop that old tangy load. Why do I want to roll up? Ah, hehehehe. What is so yalan? If you get by, you go to sleep. Please, please, turn your night hour to prayer hour. If there are many of us still need to understand the principles of prayer. <laughs> 
we just have to understand those of you who sleep by eight o'clock by nine o'clock well god have mercy because many things are happening after you might have played the scripture says we must while men slept the enemy comes to attack and to destroy what they have labored for <laughs> They know that your sleeping hour is your weak, weakest hour. They know that when you are asleep, it's like you are a bit helpless. So they will come at that time to harass you, to torment you, to disturb you, and to plant the seed of trouble into your life. So that sometimes when you wake up, you wake up with crisis, you wake up with trouble, you wake up with storm, and you wake up with the problem that have been programmed into your life overnight. Oh God. That's how we used to tell people, if you have a bad night, you will surely have a bad day. I pray. Wherever you are, wherever you are this time, that's shouting a wonderful army. Oh God, let your amen be found. Oh Start typing that amen into your comment box. Hmm. What have they come to do in the night? They come to demote you. To derail you. To dominate you. To disgrace you. To downgrade you. To dismantle you. To disturb you. To divert you. You are down you and then lorry. Such power that comes to afflict you in the victory. In all of you, you to You don't to this is not the kind of power to sleep. Most of those things we call dreams, dreams, they are not dreams. But if you they, if you put them in proper biblical perspective, they are what the Bible calls night visions. Oh, ti ante ni ala 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 ta ba fi si bi to ye ka fi si a ri pe bi pe ni pe won ni iran oru iran oru ni o night vision. Iran oru ni o night vision. One sister had a vision. Iran o she bi kan ri iran. O ba ra lori net. She met a seven on lori ni lori mat on the mat. Somebody was sitting in front of our and that mat raised up and was flying. She was where she was. And she was where she was and another person was sitting and that one stand at the door and took her from Lagos to Akoko. So Akoko and landed to their family. When they landed, they saw somebody put a gun with my hands. They were just in the air. They were just in the air. They were just in the air. Then she now woke up. Very serious journey.
they come in the night to make to to cause to 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 cause it to be disillusioned. So that you can be defeated. So that you can get in your destiny. Oh God. A lot of terrible infirmities are planted into people's life overnight. The kind of infirmity that doctor could not could not diagnose. Because This is the actual time for you to be praying. Please. Make it a point of duty. Destroy the foundation of Satan in your life. Destroy the hand of Satan in your life. So that you can become a victor. Kosi lawo oso. Kosi lawo aje o rara. Bobo agbara. Bobo agbara. Jesu lawo relo. Awa Christi ni bobo agbara. You will not be overpowered with power. 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 You will not Share program here for any 25. You share the program to 25 people. To Badni Berry, the number to a lorry screen. If you have a question, you call the number on the screen. I want Canton Pella Lai, a lack on you want. You are calling dream, they are not. They are vision. Well, only mini. You don't understand the God. Direct you scripturally. Of course, my you, the Puria. Hallelujah, make it so you are. Ah, yeah, 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 ah, ye